All right, this is grade four, module two, lesson three, and we're going to be talking about capacity, the metric capacity measurements, and of course we're going to be adding and subtracting them. So in this problem, we're being asked to convert this mixed measurement here. We've got five liters and 850 milliliters, and uh, we're supposed to convert that into just plain old milliliters. So the big thing that students need to know that is each liter, one liter, is equal to a thousand milliliters. And that's, that's kind of one of the key uh, relationships that we want students to know just off the top of their head. So that means five liters would be 5,000 milliliters plus the 850 milliliters that we already have means we now have 5,850 milliliters because we have to add these together. Once they're in the same units, milliliters, we can add them together. <clears throat> so uh, let's take a look at, let's skip all the way down to D. So 17 liters. Well, each liter is a thousand milliliters, so this means we have 17,000 milliliters plus the two milliliters that we already had, <clears throat> so that's going to equal 17,002 milliliters. Kind of going in reverse for E is if we have 13,674 milliliters, now we're going to turn that into a mixed measurement here. And well, those 13,000 milliliters is equal to 13 liters. We're just kind of going in reverse of what we did up here. So that's 13 liters, and we're going to have 674 milliliters left over. So in this problem, we're being asked to add and express our answer in the smaller unit. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. Uh, one way to do this is take the 27 liters and the 576 milliliters and we're going to add 784 milliliters. milliliters. <clears throat> now we can't add milliliters directly to liters. You have to add only the things that are in the same units. So this means we can only add the milliliters to the milliliters. So when we do that, 6 plus 4 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 plus 8 is 16, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 plus 7 is 13. So we end up with 1,360 milliliters. And then over here, We've got just the 27 liters. There's nothing down here to add. So we end up with just a plain old 27 liters. Now we can simplify this <clears throat> because a thousand milliliters over here equals a liter. So if we subtract out a thousand liters, we end up with 360 milliliters left over, <clears throat> and that thousand milliliters comes over here and equals an additional liter. So we end up with 28 liters and 360 milliliters left over. But remember they want us to right here express our answer in the smaller unit and so that means what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these 28 liters and turn that into 28,000 milliliters plus the 360 milliliters that we already had and then we add those together and that gives us 28,360 milliliters and that is our answer. On this problem <clears throat> we're supposed to subtract and this time they want us to leave the answer in mixed units meaning milliliters and liters as our final answer. So a um, couple of ways to solve this. I'm going to show you just one way. Now, another way, I'm going to do it a little different from our previous slide. 
So on this slide, let's take the 9 liters and the 213 milliliters, and let's just convert that into pure, into just milliliters, so that we don't have mixed units. Let's just convert everything. So the 9 liters is 9,000 milliliters, plus the 213 milliliters that we already had, so that equals 9,213 milliliters, all right? And now we're supposed to subtract out 638 milliliters. So let's do that. So 9,213 minus 638. And these are all milliliters. Well, 3 minus 8 you can't do, so we're going to borrow or regroup. 13 minus 8 is 5. 0 minus 3 means we need to regroup, so that 2 becomes a 1, and the 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 3 is 7, and then the 9 becomes an 8, and the 1 becomes an 11. So 11 minus 6 is 5, and then the 8 just comes straight down. So we end up with 8,575 milliliters. But, <clears throat> remember, they want us to leave the answer in mixed units. So that means we're, we need to change this answer into liters and milliliters. Well, 8,000 milliliters equals 8 liters. And we have 575 milliliters left over. That is our final answer. And our last slide, our last problem for this video, we have a football practice. And there's a water jug that's filled with 18 liters, 530 milliliters of water. At the end of practice, there was only 795 milliliters left over. How much water did the team drink? So let's draw our uh, tape diagram of this. So when we begin, we had 18 liters, 530 milliliters of water, and then a lot of that water, and I'll use blue, a lot of that water was, they drank that, a lot of it, and we don't know how much they drank, but we know that what's left over is just 795 milliliters. So the question is, how much water did the team drink? So we're going to subtract. And they don't tell us any specific way to subtract, so let's, um, well, let's do it kind of like this very algorithm-like way. So we have 18 liters, 530 milliliters, and we're going to subtract 795 milliliters. And you can't do 700, uh, I'm sorry, 530 milliliters minus 759 milliliters because that would go into negatives and this isn't really a negatives kind of question. So what we're going to do is we're going to regroup and we're going to take one of these liters, leaving us 17 liters, and that's a thousand milliliters. So the one liter that we're borrowing or regrouping is equal to a thousand milliliters. So that takes this one uh, 530 milliliters and turns it into 1530 milliliters. And now we can subtract, and I'm going to kind of do this over here on scratch paper because my paper, my work is getting a little on the messy side. So we're going to subtract. So we end up with 771 milliliters. And then over here, we're going to subtract. We have 17 minus nothing. So that's going to be 17 liters. So that tells us that this huge amount of water that they drank up here 
is equal to 17 liters, 771 milliliters. And that's how much water they drank during their practice. That's a lot of water. And that is Grade 4, Module 2, Lesson 3.